Violence Café is an association uh, based in French-speaking uh, Switzerland, which receives every day requests from people facing uh, domestic violence. In Switzerland, uh, Every month, two women are killed because of domestic violence. A Swiss study shows too that uh, just around 20% of the victims are contacting directly uh, a domestic violence service um, because of the, the feeling of shame, guilt, or just because they, they don't know um, whom to ask for help. Violence Coffer um, offers uh, with confidentiality, anonymity. You just need an internet and a computer to ask a question to professional and uh, the professional give a personalized answer and some addresses in the network of domestic violence. And the association is a, a Swiss association based in the French-speaking uh, Switzerland, so it's aimed to people uh, living here. But internet is uh, without borders, so we actually uh, receive a lot of questions from France, Belgium, Canada, but f from the uh, French-speaking African countries too. So we us usually will see four types of, of questions from victims. Um, the first type of question is uh, about the identification of violence. It's, is it question like, um, is it violence what I'm living with my partner? The second type of, um, of question is, what can I do? It's, in general, they are asking a concrete um, solution, like in which institution, organization, service can I go to get, uh, to get help? The third type of question is, is it my fault if the perpetrator is acting violent? And the fourth type of question is about uh, the perpetrator. Uh, they ask if um, their husband or their wife can change. Le rêve, c'est que à chacun à notre niveau, à chaque jour, dans notre travail, dans nos relations, c'est d'apprendre aux personnes qui sont prises, qui sont prisonnières de cette violence, à trouver des alternatives. Et la première alternative, c'est de remplacer l'abus par le respect. Et ça, c'est possible pour chacun, pour chacune, de se dire comment je peux sortir de la violence, soit parce que moi je l'agis, je l'utilise. Pour, pour euh, obtenir des privilèges que j'obtiendrai pas sinon, soit parce que je la subis et je vais apprendre à me protéger en me respectant. Euh, la personne qui utilise la violence va apprendre à respecter l'autre et la personne qui subit la violence va apprendre à se respecter. Mais au fond, le respect, c'est quelque chose que l'on peut apprendre à chaque âge, à chaque moment et que l'on peut apprendre aux autres. Et c'est le rêve en France, de... mais c'est possible.